Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to do IBL or image based lighting in Maya 2018. Now, I have already created a very simple scene with a plane and an helix. Now, I am going to use uh, IBL technique to show you how to lit up this particular small scene. So, <coughs> I have used a uh, standard material right now, but we are going to use uh, an Arnold uh, material also. So, <coughs> First of all, uh, you need to understand that uh, as the name suggests that it is an image based lighting. So we need the image uh, which uh, has to be an HDR image which actually consisting a very detailed uh, uh, light information. So you can download the uh, HDR images from HDR Heaven. It's completely free and uh, I mean you can uh, have that freedom to use it anywhere so yeah so first of all what you have to do is go to Arnold and make sure that Arnold is installed properly and go to light and use sky dome light now sky dome light is nothing but a huge sphere which actually will cast your uh, light from uh, from that particular sphere so after using this sky dome light you don't see any significant change because uh, though I have actually in the uh, no significant change in the viewport though i have uh, there is a light source which is coming from the colors of the uh, sky dome if you hit render uh, you will see that uh, the background uh, color has been converted into white which is uh, by default is black and that is actually uh, casting and uh, li lights uh, i mean casting a light from from all over the all over the i mean surroundings so uh but you cannot see it in in viewport for viewport though i have con uh, i mean we have the viewport to render on uh, but still we need to turn on the use all lights option over here in the lighting section so immediately you can see that the effect that uh, the from the light source is actually been uh, visible within the viewport uh so now uh, I will go to the checker box uh, in the color section of that sky dome shape and uh, use file and call that HDR image which has been saved in the hard drive. So now immediately you can see the effect is visible within the viewport that what you are going to expect within uh, in in the in your final render though it is not an uh, absolutely accurate because if you hit render you will see uh, a little difference in the uh, uh, in the final output and the viewport you can see the shadows are not uh, that much of visible though you can configure to some extent uh, the shadows and all but uh, still uh, i would not recommend uh, to believe the 100% uh, you know uh, the viewport output but yes you can get a very good amount of uh, uh, idea that uh, that how the objects are going to behave uh, uh, in the final render and it's absolutely showing the light source according to the image uh, the, uh, my in my HDR that I've been chosen uh, it's actually showing the light source from this side and you can see the objects uh, uh, highlighted portions are actually from uh, from this this direction so uh, to to be more specific you can change the uh, the type of material that you're using I'm using just a basic uh, default Lambert one uh, which won't show the uh, specularity on so what I will do is I will create a Arnold shader I'll go to the hyper shade and within the Arnold shader I will use this one it's a standard surface material and assign material to selection i'm not going to show you the details of the arnold surface that i will cover in different tutorial okay now this is the one so i'm cranking up the metalness and you can see immediately uh, it's actually uh, reflecting the hdr image uh, that i have been using so uh <coughs> you can you can actually uh, use another option called roughness if you increase the roughness this uh, uh, reflection will not 
will not be 100 percent sorry yeah so by default it's 0.1 if you if you decrease it to zero it will be at 100 percent uh, reflective uh, object and you can see this uh, this is the window that that is actually over here so this is uh, this is actually taking up all the lighting information from the HDR so if I increase the roughness a little maybe yeah so now you can see it's a it's looking like a brushed I mean used metal which is not a very super smooth or 100% reflective so if you hit render now now you can see there will be a lot of definitely a lot of changes because you can see the reflection has been clamped down a lot in 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 the render rather than uh, uh, in the viewport but yes definitely I can assume that what kind of specularity we are going to see uh, in the final render and uh, if you a little bit more roughness then I think it will work yeah you can see this uh, right now we are going uh, we are getting a, a lot more a similar result but yeah definitely in the viewport you won't see the final result uh, absolutely final results but uh, you can uh, assume that what kind of uh, output that we, we are going to get so this is all about the uh, the IBL where you can use uh, this technique to blend in your model within a particular environment or use this light to make sure that your model is actually blended in, in a uh, realistic environment so hope you enjoyed this thank you very much and please subscribe to our youtube channel and like this video and follow us on mm, facebook and twitter thank you very much